What's going on, everybody? I am the goods on YouTube. So I'm back with yet another. I, I don't know if this is going to be a tutorial or or what. But anyway, I've got my league up and we're going to look at editing draft classes. Uh, just go over a couple of different ways we can edit a draft class. So before I begin using any PC modding tools, I'm going to show you guys. Hold on. Where is this? Go over to scouting and prospect scouting. So, of course, you can, I'm inside of my league already. So, when you're inside of my league, you can still edit prospects, but you have to edit them one by one. If you want to be able to have the quick edit option to uh, edit prospects, which I'll show you later in the video, you have to do that from the main menu. Um, but since we're in my league, let's go ahead and look at some things. So... I could go over and edit a prospect and make any changes I want to his attribute to anything, to anything, uh, and save it. Now, the storyline thing, if you choose that, the ratings will fluctuate because it'll, whatever ratings you put it, it'll have that for their college season. But then once they actually get in the NBA draft, it might change up. So, um, I wouldn't recommend using the stories unless you're just doing, unless you just don't care. But I'll say no, don't ask me again. And then when you want to export the draft class, you just go to save and share draft class or that's for online. Or if you just want it only available to you, then just click save draft class. All right. So. Once we get to that point, um, we can just go to the main menu. Like once we saved it, we can go to the main menu and make edits. But hold on, let's see. I'm actually going to pull up Louis tool. So I just opened up Louis tool. And if I go to players, there's not a way that you can just get to only the draft prospects from here. But if you go to search, you can type in the player's name. So I'm right now the cursor or whatever. The player that's selected in game is Anderson Morris Sr. So if I just type in that name. He's the only one that comes up. So I'm going to click him. And then he's here. So I click on edit player. And then I can edit things about him. Now, the two things that will not stick if you're trying to edit while in my league are the attributes and the tendencies. And I believe that has something to do with the storylines and the scouting and the ranking system, because the ranking system has to be. Um, I mean, the, the ratings have to be masked a little bit in order to get different rankings so they calculate each player's rankings differently to give them different ranks so like this guy's ranked five here two here and three here but this guy's ranked one all across the board but anyway so let me go back to louis tool so i can edit like the player's name uh his shoes which the shoes you can change the model but this right here, these items will take precedence over the model. So if you have a colorway, like if I change way of Wade, like let's go to the, I'll show you real quick. And then I'll get back into talking about editing the class. Well, yeah, let me do it. Uh, hold on, let me, before I click edit there, I'm going to change it from way of Wade to another shoe. Air Jordan X. Okay, I changed it, but I didn't change this. So watch when I go in here, the shoe is not going to change. Still way of way seven. So I'm just going to remove changes. Come back here and let me see. I think if I delete this, it should work. I think. Let's see. Edit prospect. Nope. Still won't work. But um, let's see. 
you can copy shoe data from one player to another, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that right now. Anyway, so my point, my whole point in showing you that was just to say this right here needs to be the correct value. So basically you'll have to find a player with the shoes you want and then copy them over, I guess. Anyway, let's get back to talking about the actual player and what you can change. So remove changes. So don't worry about shoes. Don't worry about changing shoes so much. We can go over that in a different video, but like I can change his socks to, let's see. Let's go no socks. Um, you can change sock color. It's limited, but you can change it. Undershirt. He didn't have an undershirt, so let me give him a shirt. All right, so now when I go back to him, he should be changed. Yep, see? He has that undershirt. He doesn't have on any socks. So those changes do work, but again, the attributes and tendencies will not work from my league. Um, wait, where did it go? Here it is. But even things like, let's see, if I go over to hot zones, I tested that. You can change that stuff. It'll work. Signature as far as his animations, that works. Badges works. So like right now, this guy right here has no badges equipped. So if I go to prospect and I, I'm going to go down to badges, look, you, you can see no badges right here. So I'm going to back out, then update the badges here. Just equip, equip a couple so you guys can see. All right. Then when I go in the game, Go down to badges. You see they are equipped, the ones I assigned. So, you know, some of the categories do work, but not the attributes and tendencies. And that's because of reasons dealing with the game. So now when you want to update the attributes and tendencies after you after you already go through like the um, badges, signatures, accessories, stuff like that, and the gear. Then, let's see. I don't know if you can change the face with the, the appearance with this tool. Let's see. Can I change appearance? I don't see appearance here. But you can change stuff like the player's name. Not while you're in this screen. Don't don't try to change anything while you're in the screen. Just remove. Uh, just make your changes within Louis' tool while you're here in this screen. So like I can change his name from Morris uh Anderson Morris to whatever I want. I'll say uh Ricky. Ricky Morris Sr. And it changes his name there. You can change position, change to a point guard, then nah. I'll leave that position thing alone. Alright. You can change the Create a player nickname. If you don't want them to call the nickname, there's something that you can change. Um, where is it? It's probably down at the bottom. Okay, player type normal. Yeah, if you keep them as a the player type as normal, I believe they will not say his nickname. I believe. Yeah, keep player type as normal. Oh, you know what? Let's go back up to nickname. You might be able to remove the nickname altogether. And you can select body shapes. So I'm, I'm going to give him a, a different body shape real quick. It's supposed to say ripped, actually. It says pipped, but it's supposed to say ripped. But um, we're going to check out his body shape in just a second. Let me make sure. Let me see if I can remove a nickname. Nope, can't remove it from here. But they shouldn't say his nickname since he's listed as a regular player. Let's go look at the body shape. Yeah, his body shape has changed. All right. So anyway, I don't. 
I can click uh, keep changes, but I don't have to right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save the draft class. Where is test draft? And now that I've saved the changes to an actual draft class file, I could just load up a draft class, load up that exact draft class in any my league now. What? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to exit here to the main menu. And then when the main menu comes up, what we're going to do is go down to features. And this is where you can load up your draft class and edit the, um, what is that called? Edit the ratings. Let me find it first. There it is. This is where you can edit your ratings and all of that stuff. Wait, did something? Let's take a look at him and see if, cause I already had this draft class say, okay, it worked. Yep. Okay. So anyway, this is where you can make changes to your, um, your tendencies and ratings. So now that I've left my league, I would need to actually, um, I can't, I still can't edit the attributes and tendencies using this, using Louis tool. So I just, I'm going to go ahead and close it. So no matter what you do for draft classes using Louis tool, you won't be able to properly adjust the, um, attributes attribute ratings and tendencies but you can use you can go to Lemnono trainer so like I'm gonna read let me hold on let me let me back out of Lemnono trainer for a sec go back up to this player all right player list all right so now it says current player Ricky Moore senior so now I can change his ratings I can just change it to whatever I want him to be. So like right now he's an 81 overall. So watch this. Once I start changing stuff around, you see his rating changing. Let's see what else we can get. You see how it's just going up because I'm changing the rating. I can quickly change the ratings to whatever I want them to be. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. But you can you can quickly do this stuff. Then I'm just gonna close up the nano trainer and you can see his his rating went from eighty one to eighty nine. And now as far as the tendencies, what you would do is this video is way too long, but you go to quick edit mode and press Y and now we're in tendencies. So I can just go through his tendencies really quick and edit them to be whatever I want them to be. So that's how you would do it. That's my workaround. So that's how you can quickly edit draft classes, whether they be real or fictional. And that's all I have for this video. All right, guys.